So this is like the fourth time I've done this video, so I'm really hoping that I don't get a phone call or a text message while I'm filming this video. So as I said previously, make sure that you bolt this thing down or clamp it down really, really tightly. Uh, doesn't It doesn't move around a lot, but you know, just to be extra safe. And remember, make sure you put that elastic to make sure the crank doesn't come off. And again, I like to put parchment paper underneath the roller and also here to receive the dough. Now you can see I rolled one out. Now that's a great one because it's nice and uh, moderately sized. I like to have it somewhat thin, but not crazy thin. And th that was like only two sheets, two rolls through the dough roller. So it re really, really works well. Now remember, in between each roll, you wanna put a little bit more dough or a little bit more flour on the dough. And you wanna coat the rollers in dough, just to, or in flour, just to make sure that it rolls through easily. So I'm gonna roll another one through. Just give me one second. So make sure that when you get your dough, you put lots of flour in it. Now, don't worry about the dough being too dry because what you can do is a trick is you can put a little bit of olive oil on the, like with a sprayer on the dough after you use it. Now, I've already cranked this down so it's like crazy thin. I don't suggest you do it like that, but I, I uh, you know, just to show it in the video, we wanna show you how it is when it goes, when it goes through only once. So you can see it's getting pretty thin. So it's gone from like, you know, it's gone up for about four or five inches in diameter now. And now again, you can crank these down a little bit each time. I usually like to put it through twice, sometimes three times, but again, coat it in flour, coat the dough in flour before it goes through. Get a little bit of flour, put it on the rollers just to make sure that there's no sticking. And then you just feed it in, crank it down a little bit more, whatever your personal preference is. And then again, just roll through it. It'll pull it through and it works great. You can see it doesn't stick, piece of cake, and again, it's even thinner. We're even starting to see that translucent part through the dough where you can actually, it's pretty thin. It's probably about maybe uh, an eighth of an inch, probably actually about 16th of an inch thin. So it's pretty simple. And again, if you have parchment paper after the pizza dough roller, it look, works great because then when you're done doing the pizza through the dough roller, just get the parchment paper, you take it, and you can go right to your pizza stone and put it on your pizza stone. Now remember, when you're putting it on your pizza stone, the pizza stone has to be hot already because it'll cook the dough extremely well. So again, like I said, you can knock these things out all day long. It's pretty simple. I like smaller pizzas. I don't really like giant ones, but again, this dough roller can roll it up to 19 inches, so it's pretty simple. So again, just to show you, We'll, we'll put in like a too fat of a piece of dough right now just so you sh so we can show you um, how well it squishes this dough. So again, copious amounts of flour into the dough, get some dough, put it on the rollers. And again, if you're seeing a lot of black on the rollers, you wanna make sure that you dust it again in flour to make sure it comes through properly. Again, just add tons, more than you think you need like I said, when you have the parchment paper underneath, it's super simple to clean up anyway, so it's not that big a deal. Piece of cake, and you get your nice fat piece of dough, feed it in, and again, this is already cranked down, which I don't advise, but I just wanna show you that this thing works extremely well. So I feed it through, it comes through, and it's nice and thin. It's starting to spread it out nicely, and you can see how the dough takes up the flour that's on the roller. So you just roll it through two or three times and then you have a nice thin piece of dough if that's your personal preference. And again, I don't like thin dough personally. Um, I like it thicker, but basically it makes the dough nice and thin. You know, really, really is fantastic dough. And make sure your dough is at room temperature and it's already risen before you put it through. It just makes for better dough. Anyways, you can knock these things out all day long. Again, you can make it 19 inches wide. This is a great piece of machinery. And when you're done, just loosen off the dough roller. And then you can actually throw this thing right into your sink and wash it right off. It's a piece of cake. And again, a great secret is using this parchment paper so you can put it right on your pizza stone. This is an amazing product. And it is also the highest rated pizza dough roller on Amazon. We hope you enjoy it and bon appetito.